I got brides in Atlanta, Took to the lean in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van, legacies. I want to welcome you back to Black Sight, and I want to talk to you about Congressman Elham Omar, and she's in a controversy right now because she's having an affair with a married man, Tim Minot, her political consultant boyfriend. There have been divorce papers lodged by his wife, Dr. Beth Minot, that Ilhan Omar stole her husband. We all know that Ilhan Omar is a member of the squad which named by Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Trump picked it up. She has been extremely outspoken since she's been in Congress. We saw her lately speak out against the uh, tax in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio. Miss Omar has been speaking loudly, basically saying white men are the problem with America and the world. And here we come to find out that Ilhan Omar is sleeping with the white man, the enemy. Ilhan Omar, I guess she's getting her, a divorce from her last husband, which is controversial by itself. If you look into what happened in the Minneapolis Star, in which they don't know if she's married to him or not. This is such a controversy back home. But this relationship right here is extremely troubling. The reason why I say this is because you believe that someone is purporting to say that they stand for something that is really strong. And her stance was against white men. Her stance was against white imperialism. Her stance was against everything that was negative white. But we come to find out that she has been spending her time with the white man, basically bed wenching. And basically using her blackness as a Somalian immigrant, as a come up, using her wokeness as a come up to get what she really wanted. And that's a white man. She skipped over her own. Think about this. The Somali community is extremely huge in Minneapolis, Minnesota. She could have had any Somali man. She could have had an African-American man. And I also want to speak on this part. I guess she's Muslim. And you know within the Muslim religion, you're not supposed to have a relationship with a, with a non-Muslim. So where is she going with this nonsense? She's breaking all the rules just to be with white zaddy, this so-called white man that she's in love with right now. This is why I don't trust anything most of these politicians, these ministers, these preachers said, because it seems like it's always something on the come up. Come to find out. If you look at FEC commission statements, she gave this man over $230,000 as her political consultant. That's a lot of money for a congresswoman to be giving him that much money. Basically, she gave him almost more money than she is making as a congresswoman. She's constantly speaking out against white society, but here she is, got a white man. Should she be trusted? Was this whole thing that she was doing in Congress an act to become more famous, become more rich? Because in progressive society, she's considered a hero with Rashid Tlaib, AOC and Ariana Presley. And to find out that she's having an affair with a married man, and we still don't know if she's divorced yet. Yes, this happens throughout society. Yes, I know this. But this has turned into another useless scandal. Then you think that most of these people are not as authentic 
as you think they are. She's supposed to be the moral compass of the progressive movement. Instead, she's out there stealing a married man. And the wife is saying this in the divorce papers. She's not going to be very popular with a lot of women when they find out how bad the situation is. I thought she would learn, have learned how bad white men could be. When Muhammad Noor in Minneapolis, who happened to be a police officer of Somali descent, killed that Australian young lady, Minneapolis paid out $20 million for her. And what happened to him, he was sentenced to prison as a police officer. Now remember, they did not support him, the Minneapolis PDPBA. They left him out to dry. They didn't fight for him. Not like all the other police officers across the country, like Daniel Pentello, Darren Wilson, and many others. But I thought her being a Somali immigrant and saying all these things about white men that she would have learned that they are not to be trusted. But what does she do, go out and do? She goes out as soon as she gets the first chance and gets her what she always wanted. And that was a white man. This is not a good look for Ilhan Omar. And there's going to be plenty of people out here saying, so what? She should be able to love who she want to love. But she was the one pointing out white men as the problem in America. This is a tough one. All her supporters who happen to be black. What you going to say now? She's on your team. Whose team is she on? These people, I'm telling you, in Congress cannot be trusted when it comes to trying to represent black people or agenda. Whose agenda is she representing? I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight, this quick take on Ilhan Omar. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, smash that like button. Share this video, and if you'd like to make a donation, go down and hit PayPal or Streamlabs.